we're back. <laughs> Business as usual. Uh, all right, cool. Very exciting. I'm very excited. E3, E3 2020 was canceled. <laughs> Thanks to, uh, well, a lot of things, um, <laughs> partly because it was dying anyway, but it's still, it's still, oh, oh. <laughs> if you've been following me the last few years, you know that I always stream every single uh, E3 event, all the live events, I react to them live myself, and the entire, like, four or five days of E3 ends up being me not sleeping, streaming non-stop, and creating, like, four or five individual videos around that. It's usually a very exciting time that we don't get this year, kind of, but we also kind of do. <laughs> Instead of E3, a lot of these companies are just taking it on themselves to do their own thing. Uh, I already missed one, apparently. IGN did an expo day thing, and we're going to very thoroughly skim through that and see what was announced because I'm not that it's I whatever we'll take a look at it but today while you're watching this I'm uploading this really early to give you time to prepare because Sony is doing their PlayStation event showcasing the PlayStation 5 the launch games whatever whatever we're gonna stream it on the channel if you're watching this that any time other than today uh, sucks to be you <laughs> but I hope you join me for that and then once we're done streaming the PlayStation event I'm gonna hop over to Twitch uh, where we've been pumping weekly streams and uh, we'll have like a little after party a little shindig all right whatever I don't I don't know I rambled too much before this video even began oh gosh if you're still here hey cool thanks <laughs> first up let's talk games coming to switch this month there isn't many and I don't even know what half of them are <laughs> we have five uh, burnout paradise on June 19th uh, ninjala that's we're excited for that right I don't know, I still haven't got to play the freaking beta, now I may as well wait. Mr. Driller, Drill Land, The Legend of Heroes, Trials of Cold Steel 3, and No Straight Roads. Those are all, those are our Switch games this month. And actually, if we take a look at next month, well next month is a little better. We have Catherine Full Body, that's cool. Deadly Premonition 2, okay. And Paper Mario, which will hopefully be the first good Paper Mario in about 15 years, but we'll see. I don't know when Paper thousand year paper door came out <laughs> thousand year paper door what but arguably the biggest game of the month isn't on switch it's going to pro probably be last of us 2 which comes out on the 19th and yes i'm very excited for that somehow managed to stay away from every spoiler and every leak oh that's the sales the sales that's what's next i was gonna say what am i doing now so yeah i woke up this morning to my sub feed blown up with eShop summer sale uh, let's, let's see, let's see how good it really is. Oh, damn! <laughs> yeah, actually, I did hear that a bunch of first-party Nintendo games are on sale. Mario Party, 30% off, Deluxe, Ori in the Blind Forest, wow. Skyrim's half price, Drag- Oh, if you haven't played Dragon Quest, you don't know what you're missing. Oh! Oh, Builders 2! Astral Chain's 20, man, this is all like- the good ones. This is a, this is a good 75% off the bundle, the gold edition of Mario and Rabbids, Kirby Star Allies, Diablo, Snack Dungeon, low key, my secret addiction. I've been meaning to make that video actually, cause I love that game. Check it out. Great deals. We'll go to the great deals tab and see. There's 1,150 games on sale. Oh gosh, dang, if there isn't something here you wanna play, you're being difficult. Wow, okay, well first off, I already see one I'm gonna buy, cause I had my eye on this one. It's only $6, and I was umming and ahhing about it, but I mean, $2, come on. I hate whenever you buy a game, All right, it doesn't matter right now, cause I'm at the top, but whenever you buy a game and back out, it sends you to the top of the list again. Oh wow, I don't know what that game is, but 90, it's down to a dollar from 30 is two, this is like literally me. Oh, no, I don't want that. <laughs> Literally me researching an eShop video. Oh, Moonlighter, 60% off. That's a good one. I have that. Oh, Nino Kuni, 60% off. Oh, oh, that's a good one. 20 bucks for Nino Kuni. Come on. Whoa, we could be here all day because there's like a thousand games. Oh, Bastion is such a fantastic game. I think I already have it, actually. I think I have it digitally on my Switch Lite, but I don't... I'll buy that again. Like, I don't care. That is such a good- Oh, no! This is what I mean! I was like 30 pages down the eShop and it boots you back to the start. All right, whatever. I've been sat here for a while looking at these things anyway. Go to your- Trust me. There's so many good deals. There might even be more that we didn't see because I already had the game and it won't tell you that the game's on sale if you already have it. So go check it out. There- It's a- Oh! 
It's a massive sale. I really like seeing Nintendo discount their first party games. I don't, yeah, whatever, check it out. Also, if you're like, it's not these are this, I don't, uh, there's no sale in my country. It's really easy to actually make a US account um, just for the eShop. I have an Australian account, a Mexican account, a Japanese account. Uh, highly recommend doing that because it's, it's the best of all worlds. Does Nintendo like it when you do that? I can't imagine they'd have a problem, but I can't imagine I'd care anymore. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. Uh, last time I made one of these, uh, at about the midway point through the video, we gave a little a little shout out to a channel that I was enjoying. Uh, today, I'm gonna do it again. I'd like to shout out Player Essence. Uh, OJ, he's, he's become a friend of mine. I hope he would say the same. We've had one conversation on Twitter about Xenoblade, but it was a very nice conversation. We were also on the Spawncast together the other night. Um, He's just a really wholesome, awesome dude. He just loves himself some Xenoblade. He, if you know my friend RGT85, his content's kind of similar to that. It's like news and he's he's live right now. He does streams and reviews and he has his own podcast. So go check him out. He's a really nice guy. And if you like videos like this, that's my shout out. That's Woods. Woods uh, shout out of the day. That, that segment needs a name. Give it a name down below. The most liked name for the segment will become the segment's name. <laughs> I could regret that. <laughs> All right, really quickly before we go through this IGN event, let's go, I wanna to touch on a couple of things that have happened. Yes, I know Persona is coming to PC. Persona 4 Golden's going to PC. A lot of people tweeted this at me because if you know me, you'll know that Persona 4 Golden is my favorite friggin' JRPG of all time. I absolutely love that game. Um, and it's going to PC. Why is this huge news? I know a lot of you are like, no, wait, it's not, oh, it's not, wait, what? No, but uh, Persona games, they just don't leave PlayStation. This is the first time we're seeing a Persona game leave a PlayStation console, and it's just a step in the direction of getting the games elsewhere. Okay, and I really, really quickly want to touch on a couple of topics we talked about in the last one of these videos a month ago. I brought to your attention that Animal Crossing will not go away, and that was a month ago. The game's been out for like three months now, and if you go to the trending tab on Google, just how many people are looking up Animal Crossing, interacting with Animal Crossing content, and search over the entire internet. Animal Crossing is still holding in there. Like, I know it's obviously dropping more and more because that's just the way things go, but I, in comparison, I've thrown Last of Us 2 and Last of Us in there since those that's the big game coming up pretty soon. Look, it's just blur. It's just blur. A game that came out three months ago, Animal Crossing, is still... Like, people love it, man. You don't... But yeah, I just love it. I love the impact Animal Crossing has had. It's insane. Then I went on a whole conspiracy theory rant in my last one of these about Ubisoft and what the heck they were doing. And we've had a little bit more information now. I mean, at, at that point, Assassin's Creed Valhalla had just been announced, but to catch up real quickly and go watch it because it still blows my mind. But we talked about how every single Ubisoft game in their production has either like gone completely silent or just had release dates pushed back to, we don't know. It's And this is before the Corona thing too. This has been going on for like the last two years. Like it's really weird. Um, but they announced, Far well, I don't know if they actually did announce, but Far Cry 6. It's been discovered that that's on the way. So clearly, I I think it's kind of obvious. Ubisoft loves money. They're a very money-focused company, and they like rinse and repeating the things that work. And I think all their um, ambitious projects like uh, Skull and Bones, which, you know, let's face it, I'm excited. It's probably not going to do that well. So it probably took a backseat to a game like Far Cry 6 that they know is just going to sell. So that's a little bit of an answer as to where their focus has been. Uh, let's take a look at this IGN event that I didn't get a chance to react to. I like how immediately we're five minutes in and I'm already seeing people just putting Fs in the chat. I'm sure this event was very exciting. <laughs> okay. I've never heard of that before. Uh, well, cinematic trailer to kick it off. Who knows? <laughs> you know, it could be an RTS for all we know. They might have said, but as I said, we're thoroughly skimming through this. Oh, this, this was, okay. This is actually pretty cool. Alex Kid HD. I heard about this. I wonder if it's made by the same people that made, uh, 
The Wonder Boy remake, because that was so good. Oh no, it's different people. Oh well, whatever. I didn't know, I didn't know there was a Chivalry 1. And I definitely don't know what the gameplay is like, because that was a cinematic trailer. This is not what I expected. This... <laughs> Oh, we got you. Oh, some Yakuza gameplay. Okay, I have complete faith in a Yakuza game because I, I, I really like the series. I've played quite a few of them, but I never remember the game, the gameplay being turn-based strategy. Um, I really love the gameplay of the ones I've played, which were more like beat 'em up brawlers. So that's kind of that's kind of one of my favorite things about the series. Uh, but I'll give it a chance. We'll see. It's not exactly the the, the best information I've received today. <laughs> oh, this game looks cool. <laughs> I, I'm so, I don't know, am I weird? <laughs> Everything else has looked really boring to me so far. And then I see this and I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's adorable. I like the art style. I'm too far deep into my indies, man. I've gone, I've gone down a dark path. <laughs> that's really interesting, that art style. Oh, that's really interesting. That's messing with my mind a little bit. There's like a 2D character that's kind of blending in with this 3D world. I love that. What the heck? I love that art style. Demon Turf. Why are they talking about Bioshock 3? Oh, it's probably Bioshock 3 DLC. Oh, yeah. All right, that looked pretty good too. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. There was something very not exciting about that, but... <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, now we're all up to date with IGN. Jeez, uh, I'm sure the PlayStation 1 will be a lot more fun, so join me tonight for that stream. I'd really appreciate it. Check out those eShop sales. Check out, I don't know, whatever. I hope you had a good time. Like the video if you want to, I don't know, subscribe if you want to do that. I'll see you tonight, and if you're watching this after the day, then see you whenever, I guess. <laughs> Bye.